Hey, what's up guys? Luke here today with an application review for you of a new app available in the iTunes App Store called Theories It's a Game. The idea for this application was actually created by a local game developer who asked me to take a look at it, so that's what we're doing today. We're going to take a look at the app and dive into some of its features. Welcome to the home menu of the application, which gives you a bunch of different options, and the first one we're going to be looking at is the options option. In here, you'll be able to pick your avatar for the game, as well as the host or question asker's avatar. Also in here, you'll be able to turn the tips feature on and off for some very relevant guidance throughout the game. The next category we'll take a look at is the scores option. In here, you'll be able to look at game stats such as games played, highest score, average score, and more. The next one is leaderboards because this application is game center enabled you can play online multiplayer with your friends across Apple's game center application. The next option here is achievements and the developers have assured me that the achievements option will be coming soon. If we head on back to the main menu let's click on the more tab and four new options come up including how to play the game theories. Also in this option you'll be able to determine what a theory is actually defined as. If you want to help the developers with further creation of this game, you can help them by submitting a theory through mail. And lastly, the final option tells you a little bit about the game masters of theories. Theory's main page also allows you to connect to Twitter to share your new application with your friends and family, as well as Facebook platforms. The final option on the homepage is the shop, which contains a lot of cool in-app purchases, including avatar packs, as well as a little bit more question packs. The developers and creators have assured me that more is coming to the shop very soon. Now that we've taken a close look at all the features, let's hop into a game, first starting with multiplayer. As you can see, it is game center enabled and you can add up to three other opponents to play online via Apple's game center. Because I'm playing by myself right now, let's hop into the single player portion of this app. As we get into it, a little summary instructional splash screen pops up. I hit play and the first theory comes up. New York Times columnist Thomas Friedman propounded the theory that countries with McDonald's franchises tend to, and then you pick which of the four options seems most realistic. I chose C, and then I hit go. Down in the left hand corner, my avatar says C, and then the host picks an answer. This is where things get interesting. The host may or may not be telling the truth. I have to choose whether or not he's bluffing or I agree with his answer. For this one, I chose bluffing. The host was bluffing, the correct answer was D. So I get no points because my answer was wrong, however I get two points because I called the host's bluff. A cool thing that happens now is you can actually flip this card over and learn a little bit more about the theories. For instance, this one's about countries with McDonald's not fighting with other countries that have McDonald's. After this, the next card comes up and as you can see in the top center of this one, it says 2 out of 12. That's 2 out of 12 questions that have been answered. It is the same for this theory as for all the theories. Read it and pick which one of the four answers seems to suit it best. For this one, I pick B and then I click go. My avatar down in the bottom left hand corner versus the host. And this is where I can call the host's bluff or agree with his answer on a second thought. I agreed with him and however, I believe the host was bluffing and the correct answer was D. So that means that I got no points for not getting a correct answer. However, I also lose a point for agreeing with the host. Mid game if you'd like any options just click the top right hand corner and that'll bring up the quick tips menu which will tell you how to get points and how you can lose points as well as allow you to resume the game you're playing and quit the game you're playing which we're going to do right now. One last thing I'd like to mention about this application before I sign off is how beautiful the app really is. If you take time and look at it, all the motions, all the graphics, everything is just done down to a T. I've been using it for about two to three weeks now and I've yet to see a glitch or a fail in any sort of way through this application. You can really tell that a lot of time and effort has been put into it and a great thing about this application is that it is free in the iTunes App Store available for download. So guys, this has been Luke from LukeDemarco.com. Remember to follow me on Twitter at Twitter.com slash LukeDemarco and visit my website at www.LukeDemarco.com for all the news and updates you need. Until next time, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.